Hello everyone, my name is Devin with Ginger Tech Tips and today I'm going to be teaching you guys a couple of cool things you can do with VLC Media Player that will not only improve your Twitch experience but also your YouTube viewing experience. So these are very easy tutorials to follow and one of them you don't have to download anything and the other you do have to download one thing and there is one optional program you can also download that will also go along with your Twitch experience. So the first thing we're going to do is teach you how to watch a Twitch stream via VLC Media Player. Now the thing that people are probably thinking is what would be the benefit? Well there's a couple of things. Number one, you won't have to pull up your browser so you won't have to use up any extra processes for your browser and um, stuff like that. And also, you know, it's a little bit convenient especially if you have like a dual monitor setup. You can kind of just drag off this VLC Media Player window right off into your second monitor instead of having to make like a whole new window for your browser and you know dealing with that type of stuff so you know it's kind of like convenience and also I found that it kind of improved my experience because it looks better it looks like the quality is just a tad bit better and there's a little less buffering less glitching out that you'll see with the uh, shockwave player or whatever they use for twitch so the first thing you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to go to a site I will link all these sites down in the description below but you will download this program called Livestreamer. So the program itself isn't really much, it doesn't really do much. But to actually use the program, now I will state that I am using Classic Shell on Windows 8 to be able to do this. Now you just do a run command. I don't know exactly how you do it on the regular Windows 8 and I know how to do it on Windows 7 because it's just a start menu but you will do a run command. So what you'll do is you will type in Livestreamer.exe Twitch TV and then you'll do slash this will be where you input the person's name I don't know how case sensitive it is but kinda of just for uh, for safety kind of stay in the case that his actual username is or her and then you'll put the, the uh, quality right here so you put source or high or medium and so what you'll do after you press all this in is you will press OK You'll get this and you do not close this window. If you close this window, it will close the stream. So you can see, this is Mr. Callendale here, I love him. But you'll see that th it pulls up the stream and it, it looks nice, doesn't it? It, it? It's very convenient, you can drag it all over, you can pause it, you can stop it, you can do full screen. There's also some other options you can do. You can capture it using fraps if for some reason you want to capture somebody's stream. There's probably some other cool features you can also do with VLC player opened up that um, I've yet to find out. But I think it's really cool. It's very convenient and I think it, it's very really it's just really cool and easy. Now like I said do not close this because if you close this it will close the stream. So anyway we'll just close this for now. Now some of you are thinking well what if I want to chat? Cause some people like to stay involved with the chat or maybe they're mod to the chat and, want, and they want to be a moderator so they want to stay up with doing their moderator job. So there's a program called Chatty you can download and it's very cool. So you'll, I'll once again leave this description in this, in the, uh, I'll, SM, I'll leave this link in the description below. And it's a very cool program, it's called Chatty. It is a Java based program so when you download it. Um, I bl it, you want to make sure you run it the right way because sometimes people will it'll try to show up as like a archive so make sure to run it with your Java platform SC binary so make sure you update on your Java on your computer I believe you have to be at the JDK 7 or something like that so make sure you update on your Java and you will run it like this And just give it a second, and then for the first time, you'll have to log in. You'll do like a pull up your browser, you know, once you log in and all that stuff. And once you log in, you'll see right here, and then you can either put in the person's name like that. You can also view your history of all the people you've previously connected to, or you can press cancel. And for people who want to know, well, maybe you're using VLC player to watch Twitch and you don't know who's online. So to check who's online, you can do like this. See? See who's online, you can right click it, you can join the stream, you can see this type of stuff, you can do, you see, you can do all that cool stuff, it's pretty cool. And you can join the stream from there, and see, you can join back into the stream, you can, you can chat, you can do like blah 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 blah, 
I know I'm just messing with their chat right now. And if you're, if you're a mod, some of you people are probably mods to chats, and you're welcome thinking, well, what if I want to time out somebody? What if I want to ban someone who's not doing what they're supposed to be doing? Well, you can click on their name, and right here, I'm not a mod to the chat, but it still shows you the options anyway. But if you're a mod to the chat, not only when you click on somebody's name, can you see all the messages they've seen. I mean, they, that they've sent in the chat. You can see what color they are. You can see when they got in here, number of messages they've sent, and you can see you can see the uh, things like banning, unbanning, and the timeouts. So I I think it's really cool. So not only can regular viewers use Chatty to uh, benefit them in their stream, but also if you're a moderator to the chat, this also still benefits you. You can still do all your moderator jobs. So I find it really cool, and I think it's really awesome. Now the second tutorial. This is a two-in-one deal. So let's say you want to watch YouTube videos from VLC Player. Now there's a couple of benefits once again here. I find it that it looks a little bit better, a uh, little less buffering, and you know, Real Player is kind of glitchy. And I found Real Player to be really glitchy lately with things like videos stopping and videos not buffering whenever they should be, and that gets kind of frustrating. So there's this is a very simple thing. First of all, you have to actually open a VLC Player for this one. This one doesn't require no downloading. And then, okay, let's say you, let's go to here, this is my gaming channel, by the way. So let's say you just want to watch a video. So you see, you got some videos here, you know, it's just, just pick a nice random video, you never know, uh, blah, blah, blah. oh, look, Frankie. You just, you, you just get the link, you open it up, open the stream link, or you can do control N as well. So once again, media, open network, or do control N, and paste your link right here to the YouTube video. Press play. Boom. It watches the video. It brings up the video and it's it looks nice. It, I believe it does it in the quality, the highest quality possible. I'm not really sure if it does it in highest quality if it's doing it in 480 or if it's doing it in 720. I'm not actually sure not yet, but if I do get some some um, updates on what it does about that, I will tell you guys. But I think it's a really cool feature. Now, if you do want to comment on a video, you will have to actually go and comment by clicking on the video. But once again, this is good for like if you want to, I don't know, if you're doing a tutorial and you want to pull it up on your second monitor or something like that. It's a very convenient way to just use VLC Player. And um, once again, if you want to download VLC Player, it's very easy to go download. Just go download it. You can search for it. I'll even leave a link down in the description to go to the official download page to download it. And if you're on Linux, which I don't think any of you guys are, but if you are, it comes default with Linux because this is a primary um, media player for the Linux operating system. So anyways, that is pretty much all there was to teach you guys. I hope you guys found it very informative and I hope that you guys use this because I think it's a really good setup. I've started using this for all my twitch viewing things and I have stopped using um, the actual browser for twitch and ever since then it's been pretty enjoyable but anyways if you thought this video was informative be sure to click the like button down below helps the channel grow and if you would like to check out my gaming content I will leave a link to my gaming channel down below you can also go see it on my channel there will be a link to my gaming channel there we can go check out gaming commentaries stuff like that and, and if you liked it then be sure to click the subscribe button there'll be more tutorials and tips from me Devin and yeah until next time guys peace